everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to B-Town here in historic Boston, Massachusetts. Atlanta's losses continue to pile up. They need something to go their way here. I'm reminded by the old Harry Neal quote, we can't win at home, we can't win in the road. My failure as a coach is I can't find anywhere else to play. That's kind of where they're at. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Thrashers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Puck scooped up by Horvat. And that pass. And here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, I do. It doesn't matter. Somebody's coming out. arena now. <laughs> Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Atlanta's got the puck. And that pass goes off a stick. Good position to get towards the net where you can deflect the puck. So as we see on the replay, that's excellent positioning and good eye hand to deflect the puck past the goalie. The Thrashers take the early 1-0 lead here with lots of time to go here in this opening frame. Yeah, but you get to play from in front, James, a place any team wants to be. Puck picked up by Zaboro. Taken by DeHaan. Atlanta's got it now. Picked up along the wall by foot. And we'll get a whistle as the puck goes out of bounds after that stop. Well, earlier tonight, an opportunity for both the organization, even the crowd in this building, to give a nice tip of the cap for a symbol of excellence. 1,000 games played get you a silver stick, and while the memento is nice, it's really a proud moment to know that you've done your job for such a long time. Byfield's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Pareko. Denied by the goaltender. He was locked in there. They scores! They tie it up! They stayed with it the entire time, Ray! I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated. You keep chipping away and you hope to get to this point. He closed the gap in a hurry. Atlantis got the puck against the half wall. Stays with it. Maintains possession. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Here he is in front! Everybody goes and pats the goal scorer on the head, but this play's made before. Look at the balance and strength. They're pushing on him to try and get him off the puck. He creates this entire play before he passes it off for the goal. 
He picked up an assist because of his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability, guys. He can make those firm and accurate passes, and he helped the team get that scoring chance. And he slides it quickly to Stenland. Puck scooped up by Kraus. And that pass is redirected. He's Confidence. With just seconds to spare. He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time it past the goalie. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Great defensive play at center by Stenland. 20 minutes in the books, and a pretty fun 20 minutes at that. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Second period set to get underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a blast. And that one's blocked. Taken along the wall by Costin. And nothing doing with the goaltender there. Uh, that's really good strength by the goaltender as they quickly get over to the side of the net, right tucked up against the post to make the save. He's not going to feel very good about that one when he goes and sits down at the bench. He was totally out of position. That led to the goal. Atlantis brought their offensive A game here in this, and it's only the second. I think that's probably the, the bad news for the other team. It's still the second period, as you mentioned. They've dominated this game start to finish. Body check on the play. Can't connect. Here he is Whoa. in front. He scores. Now it's only a two-goal game. Also, it gets progressively better for them, but they need another one. They got to throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. neutral zone and we are back underway grabs control of it at the point oh we got a piece of it to keep it out Kosa's had nights where he's bailed the team out while well, they're doing it for him tonight he's really struggled in goal today well not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end at least they'll get a breather here The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. The Bruins are going to have to figure out how to roll their bench down a player. They just got news, as I did, that that player will not return. Well, that certainly changes things going forward. Thanks for the update, Ray. Up here. And the intensity starts up with Whoa, you're up to that hit. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Byfield's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. Back to the blue line. 
And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. He scores! Talk about capitalizing there. They looked like they were more aggressive knowing that they were going to get a power play. You can take a chance. There's no risk of giving up anything against. The power play takes advantage of that extra man nicely. They move the puck around and set up a shot, but then they have traffic in front of the net, making the goaltender really work to see it. His bouncer zone ability means he's so good at boxing out those opponents and giving his netminder a clear sight line at the play. Moves it to Hall. To the low slot! No, you're not gonna get away with that one right in front of the official delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Sedishin swooping in on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Hall. Oh. Scores! And we're tied with a little special and special team. Well, the power play comes through for them. They were working on it in the morning ski, trying to get the puck from the point to the front of the net with a little more traffic, but that's just one variation. Here, they're able to score, the game's tied, and we now have a whole new game to look at. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it. Hey, The good thing he one times this puck, the goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Atlanta's coaches are pretty active down there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they don't want anybody to get complacent here. They've got the lead, and they want to push forward. As quick as you get the lead, you can lose it right back. a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Oh, he caught him. Did he ever? Head down, right into the train tracks. Atlantis on the attack. Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. Atlanta's got to be feeling good about themselves up by two late in this third. Well, you'd never know it by looking at the coach. He looks still so stressed. Man, do these guys ever relax? Boston's ready to go on the attack. I sees the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. The icing would have worn them down. That's a big face-off win for them. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Moves it to Halla. Again, the denial by the goaltender. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then... And he now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Both 
Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Thrashers win it. Moves it quickly over to Tuck. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Atlanta's got possession of the puck. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Whoa. bench when he scores James I mean this guy is just a born leader like he scores the energy just runs through his team that is something that is a great skill to have guys we know that he's a part of the leadership group on this squad and with his born leader superstar ability he's given his team a huge boost after scoring that goal Atlantis got it along the wall Kane's got it deep in the offensive end. And that's broken up. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Rocked on the play. Makes his presence known on the ice. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. James, you said at one point, if you're going to break a streak, you need a miracle. Here it is. About time, isn't it? Just about time is what everybody's feeling in that organization right now. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Period number three. Well, let's see what this third period can offer at what has been a score fest thus far. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Thrashers can't get any shots on net. They're pretty fortunate that this is still a close game that they trail in. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Blocked in traffic collision he moved in quickly if you go at that pace you take away all the available ice more goals among the league leaders in plus minus i gotta be honest with you james this was a list i didn't get on very often puck possession so critical another face off coming up here connecticut's won the draw and they'll go to work he's Everybody likes the new guy. James, we'll get a look at this again, but the draw is won so cleanly, I don't think the goalie's got a chance to get set to the shot. The Thrashers have made this a game once again here in the third. Well, it's set up for a race to the finish now, tied here in the middle portion of the third period. Puck picked up by the open ice. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. He got hammered. Yeah, did he ever. Now he's got to go pick up his stick. Pretty tough to play the rest of the game without one of those. Score! He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. 
The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. The Thrashers have gone up by one here in this third. Deserving the lead, now you have to protect it or expand upon it as the finish line's not that far away. Oh, these are the games I love, James. You know I always talk about how much I like offense. A one nothing game's great, but these wild, high-scoring affairs, they're the most fun to call and by far the most fun to play in. Hey, score! <laughs> Bang-bang play, the goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Thrashers win it. Take it along the wall by Paul. And he's able to handle that one. to welcome the new guy in. You gotta have a little mole in you here. You gotta dig and dig and dig to get the puck back. Excellent retrieval here on the effort to find the puck, to get it back, to create a chance. And then it's in the net. This is really a hard work goal. Guys, he was able to pick up the assist because he stayed engaged with the play. His no contest superstar ability means he was able to win the battle for the loose puck and getting possession helped him set up that goal. 58 seconds. Sends a pass over. This is real teamwork here. I mean, this passing is crisp and sharp and on the tape. And then the scorer gets the puck with a chance to finish it off. Connecticut's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. With possession along the wall. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. That's a perfect shot on the low stick side. The goalie can't get it with his pad, and his blocker's not there in time. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, what a stop! Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. The Thrashers deliver with a big performance tonight. Goaltender on out. That was one of their better games in the last couple of weeks. A really solid performance. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.